Okay, so I'm going to show you quickly how to use AuthentiSign directly from Web Forms. And the easy part is it's all integrated together, so you don't have to go from Web Forms and save it and then go into AuthentiSign and do all that kind of stuff. It's just all taking place in one, one spot. So in this case, I'm going to use a fake listing that I have here. Uh, you obviously highlight it and click it and activate the listing. And then uh, simply go up to the send to area. And you have two choices, email or AuthentiSign. Obviously pick AuthentiSign, sign in. So put in your first name, your last name, and then the password. And then click the sign in button. From there, you're gonna have a bunch of choices that uh, you can bring over to AuthentiSign. So if you wanna bring them all over, click them all. Uh, in this example, I'm just gonna bring over the multiple listing contract and then press continue. So what it's going to do is just obviously bring over that document into the actual AuthentiSign website and allow you to uh, mark it up and doctor it on that website. So there's four steps. Pretty simple to do. That's it. Four steps. Step number one is you're just going to name uh, the document. So right now it's named fake listing. Maybe I want to change it to something else. So we'll uh, call it uh, garbage listing uh, delete just to remind myself to delete it and it's going to auto uh, have the part participants do it sign in, in line which is fine and then we're going to go to step two step two is just adding in your clients and you can add in as many clients as you want which is really good because you can shoot it off to all your different clients and as they you know from their own emails work on individually it collects all those uh, e-signatures into one document and shoots it off to you and you're done so you just put in their name, uh, in this case, Kyle Hislop in my email. You don't have to worry about all the other stuff. And, uh, and then just hit add. And that participant is added in there. So simple, just their name and their email. That's all you need. And you can add more if you want to, but in this case, we'll just, uh, we'll just send it to myself. This is a copy of the, the document that we have in there. But if you wanted to add more, say for example, somebody was uh, giving you an offer on one of your listings. You can upload the file directly from an email. They send it to you via email. Uh, you can have it from a document that's saved on your computer, Dropbox, whatever. So if you need to add files in here, you can do that. Uh, again, for this example, we're just gonna work with this listing. But uh, again, you can add files from a, a bunch of different sources, which is great. So step four is going to be the de designing of where people are going to sign and initial and and all that kind of good stuff so right now you could uh, look at the document and scroll through you can see that in this case kyle hislop is the signer uh, if there was other people involved you would see that there's more people that are signing just not not just me uh, you can scroll through the document and and take a look at uh, the document if you need to and here's your couple options so you can click the sign here or the initial here. You want the red ones, not the green ones. And um, you just drag and drop. You can see that it has KH for my initials. And uh, obviously in this case, we're just gonna put in all the spots for the signer to initial the document. And then um, you can also, in this case, obviously this is where they're gonna sign. And you can move it around. It's not uh, it's not stuck there. You can move it, delete it, whatever. And uh, there's the final one there. And uh, like I said, you can move it around. You can put it anywhere you want, delete it, or whatever you need to do. You can also do uh, markups. So you can do you know add some text. You could add some drawings. You could highlight. You can add lines, squares, circles, whatever. So if you happen to forget something, in this case, maybe I forgot to number all the pages I could just put in the text and, and number the pages um, if you need to highlight something or like I said draw a circle uh, to notify something somebody of something uh, whatever you can mark it up pretty easy and, and, and pretty simple uh, it's easier probably just to have it all done and ready to go but if you had to use it you know that service is available and then there's zoom and all that kind of stuff you'll never use and that's uh, pretty much it so once you're done with that, you're going to click this little arrow here and it's going to shoot off an email to all the different participants. Just uh, send the invitations. And for you, it's going to send you back to kind of your main AuthentiSign headquarters where all your documents are. 
and you're going to see on the left hand side that there's a couple of uh, actions taking place so some have lightning bolts some have gears some have the, the little badges so the badges mean that everything's been done everything's been signed and it's good to go gears mean something's in the works and uh, somebody's been working on it but hasn't finished it and the lightning bolt means that it is uh, it has just been sent off you can delete things if you need to delete them uh, whatever from here you're not going to use this uh, area too much so when you go into email this is what you're going to see uh, as the client so I'm showing you the example of what it looks like as a client so this is their email that they're getting from you and it's pretty simple it says in bright blue letters click here to sign so they're gonna click on it they're gonna only have three steps instead of four steps uh, first step is to uh, modify your signature whatever they want to do so you've got a couple of choices for fonts if they're overly picky um, surprisingly people don't really change this a whole lot um, but it gives you a sample of the signature and then the initial but if you want to change it to a couple other different fonts you can do that here uh, and save it you know whatever you decide to do and then uh, they're gonna pick a password and then obviously they're going to accept and agree to the terms of this service uh, by checking off I agree I agree so once you get all three check marks on the left hand side um, so step one step two step three they'll have the ability to confirm and accept up at the top right hand corner so bright red with a bright red under arrow underneath so it's pretty obvious what they need to do and it's very step by step that way it's it's I've sent this to all ages of people and I've never had a problem with people figuring out how to sign on this thing. So from here, they can scroll through and look at the contract themselves. All they gotta do is press the start button and it's gonna take them to the first initial that they need to click on and accept. And uh, all they're gonna do is click on it and click on it again. And they just click, keep clicking through uh, until they accept all the signatures and, and all the initials. Once they're done, you can see that the red uh, turn to blue and they can complete the signing and they are done it's gonna hit okay so that's it now they've got like a bit of a um, um, uh, explanation of you know something that they could print off to keep in their files to verify that they've actually signed but for you on your end now we're so now we're going back from the customer now to you you can see that uh, authenticine sent you a message saying that something has happened somebody has activated the contract and is working on it this is not saying that it's done. So in this case, it's not done yet. Uh, so I'm gonna refresh it, it's pretty quick. And now it's gonna send me another email and this email is gonna be the actual contract signed and ready to go. So again, if you had three or four or five people, uh, it would wait until every person has signed and once they have all signed, it would collect all the uh, initials into one document and you would have one PDF document that shows all their initials and KHs and whatever down at the bottom. That's it. It's that simple it's that easy um i wanted you to see both end of it so that way you can kind of explain it to your clients from both sides all right thanks guys enjoy